In the previous video, we learned how validation is triggered automatically when users interact with the form. In this video, we will take a closer look at how we can manually trigger validations with React Hook Form. React Hook Form provides us with a method called trigger that we can destructure from the form object. This trigger method allows us to manually trigger validations for our form fields. We can add a button to our form and then call the method when the button is clicked. Copy, paste it, validate, on click, we call trigger. Let's head to the browser and test this out. Refresh, and when we click the button, we can see that all validations for the form fields are triggered. The validation errors are also displayed. Now what if we only want to trigger validation for a single field? Well, React Hook Form allows us to do that as well. We can pass in the field name as an argument to the trigger method, and the validation for only that specific field will be triggered. Let's pass in channel as a field name, Head back to the browser, refresh, and click on Validate. You can see only the channel field validation has been triggered and the error message displayed. Manually triggering validations is pretty straightforward. And with that, we come to the end of this section on enhancing React Hook form. We have learned how to specify default values, work with object and array values, work with dynamic fields, work with numeric and date values, watch, get, and set field values, about touched and dirty states of the form, how to handle submission errors, about form submission state, how to reset a form, how to perform an async validation, about the different validation modes, and finally, how to manually trigger validations. I hope this section has answered some of the questions you might have had about the capabilities of React Hook form. We have a few more topics to cover, so let's continue in the next section. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.